Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynn for those of you who are new and those of you coming back, welcome. I am gonna be showing you guys how I decorated my boys' bedroom. They are four and five years old right now and this is actually the first room in our house that is completely done, I'd say, at least for the most part. But I wanted to show you guys the process of how it all came together and give you a room tour as well. So I'll be putting in some footage to show you all how it came together. So looking in from the doorway, this is what you see when you come in. I just have their clothes hamper right there because it's kind of the only place it really looks right. I have a picture of them on the wall as well as a black arrow from Hobby Lobby. Some of this stuff I had from their previous bedroom so I didn't have to buy a ton. So that was really nice. I have this little guy on this wall right here. I forget what kind of... Um, antelope or deer or whatever it is but in any case I thought he would look cute there I love little mounts like that and stuff so I just kind of put him right there and I did not do anything to the closet doors just because I don't know I didn't feel like painting them and I'm not sure if we're gonna be upgrading them or not so I just left him for now so the rest of the room I kept really simple honestly and I should add a couple more things to the shelf over here but I love this little buffalo picture. It comes from Target. I got the shelf from Aldi and the other two bins were from Target last year sometime I think. So moving on over to the beds. These are from Walmart.com. Let me introduce you guys to the bedding. If you guys have not heard of Betty's Beds then I highly recommend that you go check them out if you're on the hunt for bedding, especially for kids because the phenomenal part of this thing is that it is a zippered bedding. So all you have to do is zip up the sides and your bed is made. I came across Betty's when I was browsing on Pinterest last fall already and the minute I saw it I was just so intrigued by it. and. I was super grateful when they agreed to work with me on this and yeah I just I am in love with the bedding the boys love it it's just like a big sleeping bag almost but I want to go ahead and show you how it works um, basically it's like a really high quality bedding like the main part is like more of a cotton feel to it it's really soft and then inside there is some minky it's like a minky blanket so you have your blanket but it's everything is sewn in one and then the sheet is a really cute leopard print and you get a pillowcase with it and then also there's a sham that is matching I love it it's just super easy the boys can even you know make their beds and anyone who has bunk beds knows how hard it is to keep bunk beds looking neat and tidy and especially making the beds especially if you have a couple different sheets or blankets that you have to um, put on the bed. This was definitely something that I was immediately just drawn to and I thought it would be perfect for the boys and I feel like it's a timeless piece that will grow with them and they have a lot of options that can be gender neutral so you know it's not something that is just has to be for a boy or just for a girl but they have a lot of different options so if you're on the hunt for something make sure you go check them out because they also gave me a 20% off discount for you guys uh, I will make sure to link all of that in the description box. Plus they run a lot of sales throughout the year, so definitely 
Um, you can find things like a, on a BOGO sale. So yeah, it's a little bit of an investment, but it's very high quality and I think it'll grow with your child or even you as an adult if that's what you want. Um, I think it'll just be a very, a very good piece of bedding to have in your, in your household. So make sure you go check them out. As far as the rest of the room, I kept the same red and black buffalo check bear pillows. Those had come from Hobby Lobby and also that bear up there is from Hobby Lobby. I was debating about putting something on the wall up here, but to be honest, it might just get kicked down anyway and I decided to just leave it blank for now. And I have the two lights that I had used also. These come from Ikea. They're just mounted to the wall and then you plug them in an outlet. It's really nice for at night if they're wanting to just have a little light or something, but I just feel like it adds something. Plus it doesn't take up a lot of room. And then I have the same thing for Jax down here. He has a light down here as well. And this cute little sign comes from Hobby Lobby. Be brave little warrior. And then the curtains are from Ikea. I had had them last year, just grabbed them because I thought they were cute and they were only a couple dollars. So I was happy to use them here. And then over here in the corner, I just have a little plant hanger also from Ikea. This is just a faux green plant and I might mount it on the wall at some point possibly, but uh, for now I just kind of hung it on the curtain rod there, which works out well. I just wanted a little pop of green. And then over here I have this um, canvas, well no it's not exactly canvas, but this Be Strong and Courageous came from Steph Stolzfus Design on Instagram. She sent this to me, it was custom made for me and I just still love it. It's very timeless classic piece and I love the verse. Uh, it's just a good one for the boys to learn and it's just a good comforting verse for anyone really. But I have the Ikea bookshelf here. We'd had that one and I have toys in it plus the striped bins which are from Target. I have their clothes and stuff in at least some of them. We don't have another dresser and there's not a ton of space yet and I don't have a lot of furniture so I'm making do with this. So I have some clothes and then I have some place for toys and books and I'm not completely set up on all of the toy organization yet so it's a little empty but that's okay. I'm glad because that means there's room to uh, move things around. And then I just have a couple of things on the top. I just have this globe which I've had for a long time. It uh, was in a yard sale find for like a dollar and the adventure sign is from Hobby Lobby. And then I have my okay to wake clock that I got on Amazon. And also this lamp is from Target. It is actually orange, but it kind of looks red and I just thought it adds a little bit of color and fun. And then also some of you will recognize this basket. I got thrifted it here a little while ago. So I just have their blankets and stuff in there for now. I may add another basket for some more toys. Um, with time, but yeah for now this is what it's looking like and I have a furry rug on the floor here We plan to do the floors at some point redo them, but for now we're just using the carpet that is here So that's what the room is looking like. I am really excited with it And I just hope that you guys enjoyed the tour and if you're new here I'd love to have you subscribe and join our channel. So thank you all and I will see you later. Bye guys